Okay, it's beer clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. It is the end of a monumental day of reviewing beer with Real Ale 140. But we've kept something quite special to last. One of the big boys. This has had a 99 on rate beer. And it was very, very kindly given to us by DS Cardiff Drinks. Check them out on the bottom on Twitter. They sell all sorts of Real Ale Craft Beer. Um, ciders, it, it, it's a regular shop as well, but yeah, you've got something to say to DS, yeah. uh, Ali. Ali. Ali knows his beer, he's got a very good supplier in London, he gets you all kinds of good stuff, but some of the best stuff in that shop is, is not really tackled that much, and it's his European selection, very, very good, and I think inspired by his dad, and this, this, is, this is one of them. This is one of them, this is a, a, a corked um, La Trappe tr quadruple. 10% ABV. Um, I think it's a bit of a Rocher um, uh, It's a big boy. It's a, it's a kind of bit of a rare beer, but um, I'm always quite wary of opening these. I'll, I'll give it a go. It's, the, it's the OK age one as well. Just to be clear. But yeah. Um, oh. Oh. Here's the pliers. Here's the pliers. It's all good. Put the pliers there and. I've completely failed to undo the there. Yeah. Right, right. One last go. Does that work? Right, right, the Here cage is gone, the cage is gone. Oh, it's gonna blow! <laughs> Twist the bottle, not the cap. I don't wanna bloody play this one. Again. Right, you twist, I'll hold. I have to hold the whole thing, I think. God damn it, do you know why it's a 99 on rape beer? It's because the stuff don't want to get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Blimey! Now the label's coming off. Right. Do you want to pause it again so we get the bloody thing open? <laughs> no, I reckon, I reckon this is this is kind of comedy genius. I reckon we should just carry on with this. Oh. Okay, we're back. We've had to resort to an old-fashioned kind of bottle opener here. There we go. It's there good. we go. We've actually kind of corked it properly. So that's a synthetic cork. That's caused us all manner of trouble. We've never actually had that trouble before, ever. No, no. But anyway, we've got the trap quadruple open. Um, we're going to be using the pint glass that we've been using all day long on this. It's a big chug of a beer. There's yours. Nice. So get the sediments in there. Yeah. Okay, this is um, a trap quadruple. It's an oak aged beer. It's ten percent ABV. Beer in the glass. Sense. Loads of sediments. Yeah. Loads of sediments. Both got it there. Yeah, beginning of the glass, middle of the glass. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's all it's there. I'd say it's a deep amber, hazy beer, one finger heads, very little movement as well. I mean, if, if you could, I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up from the light. Um, if I move that over the there slightly, no, it's not happening, is it? No. You what you, what you can't see is that there's a very kind of slow kind of gravitational pull on the bits that are floating around in the beer. Yeah. Um, so it's not not an awful lot of carbonation there. What are you expecting from this quadruple in the nose, Chris? I would expect. Big hit of kind of pudding and you know, yeah. raisins and spiciness, yeah, and loveliness and yeah, joy and fun, yeah, fun and yeah. Let's get in. A bit of dirtiness, yeah, <laughs> that kind of stuff. All the things you get with a new girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, don't let him get too old. No. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, oh, my word! It's exactly that raisin. Oak, the, the, the oak is usually oak. about, actually. Yes, the it's, oak. It's, it's an oak aged beer, and I don't know if we said this in the intro. Yeah, that, that is massive. You know, I'm a big fan of the kind of oak aged rock and stuff like that, and this. 
as it in droves. Ah, oh, it's wonderful. It's I get I get Christmas pudding where your grandma's mm. she's poured half a bottle of her best spirit onto the Christmas pudding. She's put it in the oven. Yeah. And it's a reasoning and there's there's Maccasin stuffed in there in the yeah, first place and, and yeah. left for three months on the back and then he left to mature. Oh it's it's almost chewy. Almost chewy. Mm. And from the from, from the look of it in the in the light it actually may well be chewy. Yeah, absolutely. I reckon we should dig into this one mm -hmm. with our old cork issues. Which was quite entertaining. Wow. Oh my. Oh, you get a big boost of alcohol uh, and yeah. comes out almost with a whistle. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And it just it's, keeps going. And it's warming and oh, my belly feels like it's, oh, it's been just in my Jesus. You know yeah. I mean? oh, this Absolutely. Is Caressing. Yeah. A um, lot of rum, a lot of oak. Mm. A lot of brown sugar, a lot of candied fruit. What are you getting, Chris? Massive hit of raisins, a huge Christmas pudding, fisting right up the arse. Yeah, yeah. that kind of you know, yeah. level of massive heat. You know, it's, it's just really, really good. <coughs> what, what I'm also getting is oh, just from the burp, it's almost like strangely a menthol kind of hit. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The mouthfeel, the mouthfeel makes it, doesn't it? It's, it's, yeah. it's, we, it's we, we've been hitting the Saisons all afternoon. Yeah. And um, because they've got that huge carbonation, you very often get it with the Belgian style beers. This isn't reliant on, upon that for forcing that flavour out. No. 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 This this just relies on hitting your mouth and telling your mouth, hey, you're going to hit there, 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 and there. This is the flavour you're having. Nothing to do with the carbonation, I don't think. It's just it's so over. Owing that it just tells you you're having it, you're having it. Yeah, it's it's a beer that kind of says there's there's next to no carbonation, but it's a level down from a top quality spirit. Mm. Well, it is. A, when I say a level down from a top quality spirit, I, I, it probably is kind of bordering that. And it, it's it's well, with this with this type of beer, you're up to almost kind of port levels of. Yeah, you know, strength. It it deserves to be treated slightly differently to to your standard beer, and you know, it's only the type, you know, ABV of a uh, an imperial stout. It's quite a different style. Yes, it almost it you when you're reviewing it, when you're drinking it, you forgive that alcohol burn because mm. it's meant to be there and it's nice yeah it really is nice yeah it's a part of a it's the characteristic of the beer yeah. it's meant to be there with all of them rummy raisiny kind of christmas cakey yes yeah, so actually you stick your York, one of the old red yorkies yes that's yeah, not one of those being bunged up here that's, that's that's really good it's kind of yeah that alcohol is very tolerant it, you want you, well, you want it to be there you want it to be there we talked about the opposite of this earlier in the day, and we were, look, we were looking at a, a, a 3.9 bit. Yeah. About how that alcohol burn wasn't there at all, and that didn't really float our boats. Yeah. And this is the kind of yeah. the far end of that scale where yeah. you can really, really get that alcohol burn. Yeah, and, and it's and nice, it's, it. yeah. it's pleasant, and it's and it it makes you appreciate being an adult because. Let's be fair, if we, try, if we tried this beer 10, 15 years ago, when we were getting into beer, mm. even whether it was a 4% lager, you, you just wouldn't appreciate that at all, would you? Yeah, you somebody would say, you'd be oh my bloody. gaff, goodness me, I, I can't even put this to my nose. But you hit a certain age and you mature like this matured beer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the, the oak barrels is, I mean, maybe aren't that much older than uh, we are. Mm. No. Oaky, it's creamy. Do you think it deserves the rage in it got on right there? Yes. Yeah, I, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that because um, it. I'm not talking about the richness. How rich that beer is. Mm. It's. What about you? Would you? It's had a 99 on rate beer. Would you go with that kind of 99 rating on rate beer? 
in a sense, yes. Mm. In a sense, no. It's difficult. It's, it's like the old debate that you'd see in See You Amiga or Amiga Forever or whatever, you know, where you would get a game that was given 95%. Is 95% the same as 100%? Is mm. 9.5% the same as 10 Do you round up? Whatever, you know. But, uh, I'd happily go with a, a 9.3, you know, yeah. really quite precise on this because it, it's such a... It's such a big hitter in so many ways yeah. that I don't want to start tie myself down to a 0.5 percentage. So somewhere between 9 and 10 out of 10, but I'm not sure where. Yeah, yeah, great beer. Um, my rating then, here we go. <coughs> I, I'm, I'm going to say... I... It, we reviewed a lot of beer today, it's all been great. But just somehow, somehow along the way, or maybe even because we kind of finished on this beer. Yeah. It might be because we kind of finished on it. This beer gets a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer for me. I think it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. It's been an odyssey. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. We, we, I mean, it's a bit of a funny review you'll probably watch back. We got caught up with the, the, we had to kind of, we couldn't pull a cork out with our, with our hands, we had to get a, it's meant to be a kind of a pull off, wasn't it? Yeah. But it, it was, it was no going and it's a bit of, it was a bit of a kerfuffle, but once we kind of, it's like a, it, it's like a, one of them animals digging through the beehive being stung mm. for the honey. Yeah. It, it goes through that kind of being stung. You're kind of trying to rip your oh, hands get it, apart. Yeah. I know it's going to be really good. Yeah, I need to get at this beer. It's almost like it's teasing you. Yeah, it, it's yeah, it's a 10 out of 10 beer for me. It's La Trap Quadruple Oak Age Beer. 10% um, ABV. There's not really much. If you want to pause the video and read the write-up, that's entirely up to you. But yeah, um, discount supermarkets on Twitter. If it weren't for you guys, we wouldn't be drinking such an amazing beer. We've got this type of thing on our doorstep now, so we're really pleased. Yeah. Um, I reckon I'm fairly tempted to say we've got some beer left that I picked up from DS Drinks. And I'm fairly tempted to say let's do round two on this one day and let's finish the rest. Yeah. Um, but thanks for watching us on The Real Elgar. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.